right, hope everyone is doing okay. Uh, the thing is like this, I've been trying to make a vlog happen for uh, two days. Or not really two days, I went out on a short little session two days ago. And then I just to try a spot really close to the camp here, uh, see if anyone was home there. It was, I found a couple fish. Uh, I had a quite nice halibut on, fought it for a while. And unfortunately lost that one, probably like a 30 kilo fish or somewhere around there. And then I had to go home. Body came up for it, boys. <laughs> that was a really cool take. That was really, really cool. I was kind of just... Uh, okay, gonna... I was pretty much just moving around a little bit around this spot here. Um, as you see, we are really close to the shoreline. I was going again. We are like really close to the shoreline and... Uh, and it's really low current, as I said before on this spot. And right now we have like... Uh, I think the moon phase is like 19%, which which is kind of low. So around spots like this, oh shit, is going all the time. On spots like this, when you have low moon, oh, no freaking way. Oh, I'm getting tired of losing fish. This one was probably a fish in the size of those two I lost in the last vlog, like a... It had actually some weight to it, so... Could be like a 30 kilo fish or something. Yeah, but as I was gonna say, I moved around a little bit to just find... A little bit of moving water. Um... And on this little point I'm at right now, I could actually find a little bit of current, so I just started moving, had a small fish up looking on my bait. That's when I turned on the camera and then kept fishing. And then all of a sudden I just saw a quick, I'm moving the boat a little bit faster than the water and then like let go of the throttle. So I just get the bait a little bit on the screen and then I go backwards again, just so I can see my bait a little bit on the screen. And then I just saw a better mark shooting straight up on the bottom and he f smashed. He freaking smashed the bait immediately. And uh, yep, unfortunately I lost that one as well. Oh, and I even had him on uh, the back hook there, so. Yeah, strange. So I was out yesterday as well. Um, and I didn't feel good, everything was, I don't know, my body was sore. It felt like I took the wrong decisions and uh, yeah, it was just whack. So I went home, no bites, no nothing, didn't see shit. Um, and today I really did.
didn't feel to fish. I didn't feel like going for fish for halibut at all actually. Uh, but I wanted to do something so I'm coming at you with a special one today just to keep the vlogs interesting and to get a video going. Um, and maybe it's a good time for the first catch and cook of the year. So we're going place fishing actually just outside Hobbison here. I'm not a pro on place fishing at all actually. I've, uh, I know very little about it. Uh, usually during a season when I do place fishing with customers is usually when we have really bad weather and we can't go anywhere than just just outside the, the harbor here so that's usually when you do place fishing so I haven't really done too much of it by myself but I really enjoy it it's quite fun and a really tasty fish so here we have a couple of uh, shrimp and then I have uh, the rig one hook over the lead, 100 grams, and then a hook going on the bottom. Vertical jig. And the spin fishing rod. So that's what we're gonna do today. And hopefully we can get a couple plays, some red spots. Just enjoy ourselves out now today in the good weather. You The place fishing around this area in Hovison is usually really good. There's a lot better spots than I'm at right now, but it's a nice nice place fishing just outside the harbor. Uh, that is uh, quite fun. Usually quite, ha quite high average size on them. So usually what I'm looking for is uh, you want to have sand bottom, but not only sand bottom. It's really good if you have a little bit of uh, weeds and stuff on the bottom patches with the grass or kelp or stuff uh, sand patches in between uh, that's usually good grounds for uh, a bigger place if you have base with like only sand it's usually a lot of place in there um, but most of the time it's like a little bit smaller size so we're gonna start with the classic uh, rig here got some uh, green and pink tubing pearls bait hook then uh, that's the one going on the bottom pretty much and then you have one over uh, and then I'm taking the shrimp and I like to keep a little bit of shell on it keeps it a little bit better on the bait and then I just thread it on basically like a, like a little jig like this and it's nice to have a, a couple legs left kind of hiding the hook a little bit they are usually not so picky but the bites can be really careful so you have to Basically just uh, have a good feel on your rig all the time. And then I'm basically just holding the bottom, checking that I don't drift too fast. Kind of just uh, lifting the weight a little bit from the bottom sometimes. Then you can uh, lift the rig up from the bottom a little bit. Just to straighten out the line to, uh, to the hooks. So you get the feel, because if you have like slack to the hook all the time, you won't really feel if there's a fish on there. Uh, and as I said before, the weather this year has been so freaking awful. And here I am thinking like, oh, it's so freaking good weather today, boy. I'm going to go out and smash a couple plays. Yeah, right. Freaking snow and as hell, man. Alright, so just when it started snowing, I think I have uh, the first place of the day. So, feels like a little place. So, the bike was really... Just felt uh, a little bit of weight in the rod tip. So, then I just waited a second and then... Set the hook. And I really hope that it is a place because I think it is because it's not moving too much. A little bit of heat shakes and stuff in the beginning. Yeah, and it is. Nice. Look, 
boys. Nice red spotted. Place. Yes. As you see here, he took the hook that is uh, over the lead. So he came up a little bit from the bottom. Woo! Okay. First place of the day. Nice fish. And uh, this is, uh, you know, like an average size place. I'm gonna bring this one home and uh, I'm gonna show you how to fillet uh, a place and then do a little nice catch and cook that I'm gonna do in a separate video. So a uh, good thing to think about is like when you want to bring home place, you don't kill a lot of place in, like in one spot. So usually when I have customers that say, okay, we want to bring a couple place home to, to eat. Usually we take maybe one or two on one spot, but this one going home it's a really really tasty fish and a good table fare and uh, the rest if we get a couple more is gonna go back you This one is really, really wide as you see. It's like almost as wide as my forearm. And this one is gonna go back. So I have uh, one fish for the table already. And that one took on the. That one took on the uh, hook yeah, on top as well. So I haven't found many, I've fished around a little bit and uh, had that first one, had a couple small cards and stuff, didn't really have a lot of dabs and haven't really found the place, but now we have this beautiful fish as well, almost on the same spot as the last time. Alright, that's it for now. Just a little quick session for a place. It's a quite enjoyable fishing. A lot of fun, especially like doing it in good weather conditions because like doing it in full storm, you have bad contact with this light setup and all that. It's not that fun and enjoyable. I really think that most people should try it because it's a good table fare and a lot of fun, enjoyable to do in good conditions. But like when you have good conditions, like me and most people don't want to really put in the time to do something else than halibut fishing when it's good conditions and all that. So the good part is that like most of the good, really good halibut spots around here is really good spots for a uh, place as well. So those periods when like the current dies off 
totally and you have really slow halibut fishing it's a perfect time to pick up the place rigs and drop down uh, right on the halibut spots actually because uh, it's perfect when you don't have any current easy to fish you don't drift too fast uh, the place should be on and uh, the halibut fishing usually sucks anyway when it's that time of day anyway anyhow so uh, it's quite perfect you don't have to do only one thing like take a couple nice plays it's all good so now let's head home and uh, do a catch and cook. Yo. The grills in my mouth double as a freeze rate. The grills in my mouth double as a freeze rate. The grills in my mouth double as a freeze rate. The grills in my mouth double as a freeze rate. The grills in my mouth double as a freeze rate.